Welcome back, blade lovers. This old sword with you. And uh, something new just dropped today. <laughs> Bet you can't guess what it is. Well, um, these were available on Amazon. A little different than the originals. And <clears throat> what we've got is a beautiful little knife designed by Brad Zinker for Drop, formerly known as Mass Drop. And it is, here we go, the Dog Tooth. Look at that compound grind. Warncliffe style. I would call it Warncliffe, not quite really sheep's foot with a beautiful carbon fiber handle. Now originally, Brad did his custom in his usual highly skeletonized version. Let me give you an example of what those knives look like because I happen to have on hand here another Brad Zinker design knife <clears throat> from Wii. And there you can see how he would normally treat this knife. This is the Miscreant by Brad Zinker, manufactured by Wii. And oh yes, the Mass Drop knife is also manufactured for them by Wii. So that's kind of cool. Let's take a closer look. It's not a large knife. It's a 3.3 inch blade. I'm going to give you some of the specs directly from Mass Drop in a moment. Uh, but something very interesting where you might assume there to be steel or stainless steel liners and frame, we have instead titanium. No attraction of the magnet. The clip, however, I found is stainless steel in a nice stone wash and ultra deep carry very very nice although not ambidextrous interesting kind of spoon shaped clip uh, it works quite well in and out of the pocket by the way so the knife is in S35VN manufactured by Wii there's Brad's moniker logo look at the really chiseled awesome grind on this with um, kind of a chamfer on the top wouldn't call it a swedge you can call it a swedge if you want plenty of meat although it is a fine point you could get some good EDC cutting work done out of this we do have a short run of jimping that's quite aggressive non-slippy uh, pretty much wide open construction with a couple of barrel spacers. Uh, there is no lightning on the inside because it is titanium. And um, let's talk a few measurements here. <clears throat> this is coming right off the uh, mass drop site. We got a blade thickness of three millimeters handle thickness of half an inch exactly or 1.2 centimeters a blade length of 3.3 inches closed length of 4.05 inches overall length 7.3 inches um, they use a combination of materials on this this happens to be the carbon fiber they also do it in a G10 and in a rosewood uh, if you go out to Amazon and go to the drop site and look at their knives, you'll see a wide variety from uh, different designers. And uh, yes, it does come in the pouch. And you also get your branded microfiber cloth that says drop if you're a collector of microfiber cloths. Um, I believe I gave you the weight, but if not, let me give it to you again. It is a mere 2.3 ounces. That's right. Featherweight. So, 
the action on it is very nice. If you hold in the liner, it's going to basically drop on your thumb. Speaking of drop, right? So very smooth action on bearings. Um, there's the size. It's about as wide as my hand, a little bit wider. Quick comparison to a recently reviewed knife. Here is the Tangram Orion, a Kaiser-made knife. Pretty much the exact same length, I would say a tiny bit longer. And uh, this one, no problem again with uh, allowing it to be a handful. Not more than a handful, but just a handful. Got a nice tapered, I mean, his designs are really interesting. Nice tapered and rounded pommel. Um, some really, really nice carbon fiber. Two simple screws on each side holding in the uh, holding on the handle scales. And whether you use this as a user, you know, kind of a gentleman's knife, if you don't mind using that term, um, or a gentle lady's knife, right? Um, nice satin finish on this one on the ventilated version on the skeletonized version uh, you can see though pictures of those um, out on uh, Amazon as well there is a stone wash a heavy stone wash uh, finish on that blade you will notice that the liners are stone washed and the clip is as I mentioned before so really nice treatment nice contrast there right You've got the stone wash on the titanium liners. You've got a beautiful satin on the blade. I think, you know, the satin finishes just show off the blade grind better than almost any other. Well, we'll do a quick comparison with a few of the usual suspects here. Let's see what we can find. How about the Benchmade Griptilian? So yeah, um, Benchmade Griptilian is going to be a larger blade. Longer handle, longer blade. If we really get it up close, it's just a little longer blade, but it's a lot more handle. And okay, if we want to give it the uh, I'm feeling small treatment. There is the Rat 1 from Ontario. Much bigger knife. I mean, look, right? But this is not meant to be a large knife, the dog tooth. It's meant to be a light, convenient knife. Uh, could serve tactical uses. I mean, you've got a, the flipper becomes a pretty decent little guard finger stop and um, I can hold it easily back out a little bit I can hold it easily in either grip not a problem although the handle you know the handles almost symmetrical it is symmetrical so it's kind of a long oval Ergos are pretty good on it. You can choke way up with your thumb if you want to. So, could be a little tactical knife. Or, could be a nice uh, edc -er. If you wanted one that you could beat on a little bit more and not show it, you'd probably get the uh, skeletonized version with the uh, all stone wash and uh, titanium handle. Well, that's it for this one, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Don't forget to like this vid and subscribe. I'll be back with more content very soon. This Old Sword, signing out.